Okay, so you set up a recording, you've recorded it, you have set your share settings, you've edited it, you've captioned it, you've clipped it, you're ready to go, now you want to share it. How do you do that? Well, if you click on the actual recording, you can get to where you can copy the link. And all you have to do is copy the link. And you'll see that it's been copied. Now you can head back over to Canvas into one of your courses and open up a page or an assignment or anything you want to open up. And you can paste the link. Now, while I've got you here, I want to talk about using links in Canvas. You don't want to simply just paste the link. Because uh, when you paste a link like this, this naked link is, it, first of all, it's really unattractive. But second of all, it's not really ADA compliant. In other words, if a screen reader were to read that out loud to a blind student, that would be, that would be horrible. So you wouldn't want to do that. Another thing you don't want to do when making links in Canvas is type in something like click here. And the reason for that is, is again, screen readers make a table of contents of links. And if everything in the table of contents is click here, well, then that's problematic. What you want to do is you want to find some good wording. So let's say that this link goes to filming beyond the computer because this is the one I did with my phone. If I want to make this the link, all I have to do is highlight it and then I can click on the link tool and paste that link. And now I have an active link for my students. Now, another way I can do this, and it's actually the way I use, is to hit Control K on a PC or Command K on a Mac. In other words, I highlight this and I hit Control K, again, Command K on a Mac, and now I've got some more options. So I can paste in that ugly naked link there, but now I can say, hey, open that link up in a new window. And what that does is now when a student clicks on that link, a brand new tab opens up with the new content in it. So the student doesn't lose the page he or she is in. And that's the proper way to add a Zoom link into content in your courses.